Happy Friday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. Life was good this morning at Arapahoe Basin, where two inches overnight more than doubled by the time first chair started spinning. For Summit Local Diana, it was a good day to get dressed up. So I ski as Wonder Woman um, so that all my friends can find me and so that I look inconspicuous under the lift. I've got the um, lasso of truth and I've got a tutu because tutu makes skiing about 3% more fun. For Breck Local Leo, it was a good day for Dawn Patrol. Skinned up with my dog Buddy and uh, had bottomless turns all the way down the mountain. It was fantastic morning. For Denver Local Grant, it was a good day to not sit in I-70 traffic. Two years ago, I was going up to Copper Mountain, sat on I-70 for 10 hours, missed the entire ski day, and ended up sleeping up there and coming back down the next day. For COO head honcho Al Hensroth, it was another day of slow progress on Lenaway Chair. This from Al's blog, just yesterday, crews installed the pilot line. They used this to haul the chairlift cable into place. That requires a piece of machinery en route from Jackson Hole. It should be here by tomorrow. Still no word on opening day for New Lenaway. Odds are it will not be open before December. Beaver Creek is opening two days early, this coming Monday, November 21st. The Beave opens with top to bottom skiing off Centennial and Cinch, thanks to more than 50 inches of early season snow. Snowpack there is 160% of average. The Birds of Prey World Cup race course passed inspection this morning. Skiers will race two downhills and one Super G in two weeks, December 2nd to 4th. A 73-year-old Eagle County man has been found dead in Mexico of suspected homicide. The Vail Daily reports several suspects are in custody for the alleged kidnapping and killing of Rodney Davis. The FBI is involved. Davis, a longtime river guide, was camping with friends near the town of Loreto when he disappeared with his dog. The dog remains missing. Introducing humans of Summit Rescue. It was a really big river, a small boat, and one of my friends got bucked out. Unfortunately, he did not really take my safety speech serious and made a bunch of amateur mistakes, and we almost lost him. That was search and rescue volunteer Brandon Chulo, remembering a close call from years ago. Here in Summit County, we're, we're, we're a special breed of people that like to gamble with our lives and our bodies. But reckless gambling is not Brandon's style. The close call led to a swift water rescue class and eventual scuba certification for water recovery. When swift water season comes, I definitely take charge in that, do help out with the mission coordinators to do some trainings and definitely show up to a lot more missions for swift water. On land, Brandon has a applied his rescue training to Summit Lost Pet Rescue. I am a trained pet detective. I took a 80 hour, eight week class with a person that broke down the studies and the science behind lost dog behavior, which is one of the reasons why I think we're so successful. The Lost Pet Rescue has erupted in seven years, from just a few people to over 100, including mission coordinators and team leaders. That comes straight from Search and Rescue. We needed to know how to manage our resources efficiently, manage individual personalities, find people's qualities, and know how to utilize each person in the most efficient way. Pet and people rescues share a lot, but not everything. You do have a little more rescue or patient interaction. The dog rescue, which I never see the dog, so I'm just working with the owner. So it's nice to have that relationship with them and, and tell them jokes as they're getting carried out with a broken leg and you kind of make them smile a little bit. Along with co-founder Melissa Davis, Brandon donates countless hours to the Lost Pet Rescue with a 100% return rate this year. And the streak continues. Two dogs that were missing in Keystone last year, one of them was just found at Fort Collins about a month ago, so 400 and something days. Seems a stranger rescued the dog last year without realizing it belonged to someone. It's called rescue theft. In sports, the Nuggets play the Mavericks today at 6.30. On Sunday, the Broncos play the Raiders at 2.05. Tomorrow's the first women's World Cup ski race of the season in Finland, where defending overall champ Michaela Schifrin is going head-to-head -head with defending slalom champ Petra Vlova. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location on Airport Road, get signed up now for the Frisco Turkey Day 5K until Thanksgiving morning on the streets of Frisco. Dogs, cats, pigs, and even pet turkeys are welcome. Entry is 25 bucks. Register online at friscoturkey5k.com. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery.